In this Photoshop CSX tutorial, we'll feather from one image to another. Let's go to interfacelift.com. That's I N T E R F A C E lift.com. And this is a beautiful website that has beautiful backgrounds. So, for educational purposes, let's download this image, right click copy, go to Photoshop, found new, and click on paste, control V, edit, paste. Now we have our one image. Let's go back to interfacelift.com and find another image. So there's a beautiful one there. And let's pick another one over here. Uh, I like these mountains, so I'll choose this one here. Click on download. Right click copy. And then go to Photoshop and paste control V or edit paste. So notice how if I use the move tool, press V, you can see there's two beautiful pictures here so to create a nice gradient what we can do is we can actually have the top picture overlap it a little bit more than halfway and I want to show you something interesting here normally when we use the selection tool and we've had a we already had a feathering tutorial in the past if you choose a feather setting of say uh, 100 pixels if you highlight this area here and press delete Notice how we are feathering from one picture to another, but the quality of this feather is not very good because you can see how the feathering line kind of curves. So already the setting is too soft, and, but somehow it's not doing a good job over here in the corners. So Control Alt Z, Control D, or Select Deselect. So let's try number 50. No matter what, this rectangular section tool is not going to be good enough. So you highlight this much, you press delete. This is not too bad. I still have to see that line, so let's make it a bit softer. So, uh, let's try 30, 30 pixels. So if I go like this and I press delete, you can see that we're not doing too bad, but however, this little edge here, this area here is not really being cleaned out. So what can we do? Here's an easy way to do it. C press control minus the zoom out. Let's get back that feather setting of uh, 80 pixels for example. If you actually uh, use the uh, polygon lasso tool, so right click polygon lasso tool, you can actually choose a feather setting of 80, 80, enter. And now if we just completely click off here, click into it here, and then hold down the shift button. Holding down the shift button makes a straight line up, and then you can just join it up here. You can see that the feather setting is curved out, uh, outside of the actual bounds. So when it comes to pressing delete, it does the actual very smooth job. You can see how it's very smoothly uh, fading from one image to another. This is what we wanted. So the idea of going outside of bounds using the polygon lasso tool is one technique. There are many others to feather from one image to another. So how would you feather diagonally? Let's give it a try. So if you want to feather diagonally, you might consider um, using the move tool to get this image back a bit and try zooming out using the polygon lasso tool with a nice large feather setting. Let's choose 100 pixels and actually clicking here and clicking diagonally like this and then click here, click here, click here and double click. Double click closes this down. So now because we're on the top layer, you press delete and press Control D or select deselect. We can see that we're feathering from one image to another, another in a diagonal fashion. So hopefully that was helpful and congratulations you can now feather uh, from one image to another without dealing with all the uh, edge artifacts.